They are the most expensive cars in the world. No joke, we got our hands on over $250 million worth of cars. Woo. One of them even costing $100 million. And we're gonna be exploding, sailing, driving, and even flying all of these cars to show you why they're so expensive. Starting with this $1 car. Literally a rust bucket. Why are you selling this car for a dollar? Well, you see, it's pretty much worthless. And I can't put any time or money in this thing. If you grab this dollar, the deal is final. Now, obviously, this is a piece of garbage. But when you spend 20K on repairs, it actually runs. All right, let's get this bad boy started. I did not think it would start. How is this thing driving? This is crazy! One dollar car! 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 Did Mr. Beast just f***ing die? <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, that was the $1 <laughs> car. Glad I wasn't in that. Bring in the $100,000 car, which <laughs> drives itself. No joke, no one is currently in this car and it is moving. Let's see what a hundred grand gets you. There's a lot of room in this car. This is one of the few cars that can actually fit all my kids. That's my car. I have that car. Do you have kids? Yeah, all of them. Let's take it for a little spin. The real reason you're buying a Tesla is because it can drive itself. All right, I'm no longer driving the car. Oh. It's switching lanes. It's Whoa! It is literally driving itself. It's My feet are not touching the gas and I'm not touching the steering wheel. Jimmy, are you telling me now you can take a nap while driving? No, don't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, let's see how fast the car can go. Oh! <laughs> it jerks you backwards. That's terrifying. This is just the beginning. Later, we have a car that literally transforms into an airplane and flies. But now... Oh! Look at that Lambo! I almost hit it. <laughs> oh, I just left the keys in here? How'd nobody steal it? And even though this costs twice as much, it has half oh, as much oh. space. I don't know if I'd pay 200K for this car because I don't fit in it. That's why I don't have a Lambo. Barely touching the gas and we're flying. This might be the fastest car I've ever driven. If you need to compensate for something, this is definitely the car. And now we are at the $300,000 car. And this is supposedly the safest car on the planet. It's like a tank. Is this a military Oh my God, car? what is that? Yeah, this is so high up. You were also just in a Lamborghini to be fair. True, true <laughs> perspective. Let's go over what makes this car so safe. First things first is the bulletproof windows that are this thick. I need this car, bro. The ops have been Catching up to me lately. Also, in case an explosive proof armor that we're gonna put to the test later on. Carl, do you wanna press the button? Uh, so bad. You wanna hit the smoke screen button? Please. Whoa! Whoa! That is crazy! Whoa. We have a literal smoke screen. Oh my gosh, it smells! <laughs> but the best part is none of these features are what make the car really safe. It's the literal Bro, bro, bro. I've been freaking out because ever since Mr. Beast added this audio transition, it sounds like the audio that plays when someone gifts like 10 subs. Whoa! Whoa! That is crazy! Whoa. We have Look. a literal smoke screen. Oh my gosh, it smells! <laughs> but the best part is Wait, it's the same audio. It's the same audio. I'm gonna replay this. Do you guys even hear that? I don't think you hear it. You can hear it? Okay, I, I can't hear it. But it's the same audio. Every time I'm watching Mr. Beast video lately, like I hear it and I think someone gifted subs. None of these features are what make the car really safe. It's the literal explosive proof frame around the car. And we're gonna be the first people to test it. And for reference, before we blow up the $300,000 car, we're gonna blow up a normal car to see if the passengers survive. Three, two, one. <laughs> Not only is it on fire, but the mannequins literally flew out of the car. It flew a sunroof into that thing. It doesn't handle it well at all. And before we blow up this car, I'm gonna put feastables inside of it. Better protect my freaking chocolate. So supposedly this car is explosion proof, but that's never been tested. Let's see if the mannequins and even more important. I'm sure they've tested it, right? <laughs> survive. Three, two, Yo, Pinhead, they're the one. five. Get the subs, appreciate you. Time A, 67 months. Thank you, Time A. The car actually survived the blast with only a few minor scrapes. It put a tent in the window. Did someone just give some. Where are the feastables? <laughs> Chandler, get out the way. Chandler, the feastables survived. If you're looking for a car that could take a bomb, I officially recommend this one. 
But since we're not going to war anytime soon, for only an extra $200,000, you can get this $500,000 boat car. On land, this is a normal car. You can't really tell the difference. But here's the fun part. Just drive it in the water, and it turns into a boat. We're going to let Carl go first. Here we go! Oh, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right. I'm having them go first just so I can make sure it works. Are we sinking? <laughs> no, we're floating! It looks like it worked. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, we're going, we're driving in the water. Holy. So you press this until you hear a beep. That's a beep. Now I should be able to drive this like a normal car, but on the water. Tia, hold on. <laughs> Jeez, oh, bro. This was literally a car five seconds ago. Yeah. No, I wouldn't be out there with him, but I get car sick and boat sick. Oh, we're getting there. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Oh my God! All right, Carl. 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 They should not have. Crazy let me man. This. Oh, oh my God! That looks like a lot of fun. It also looks a little yeah, dangerous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Stay really far away from Chris. We're driving in circles. Ah. They're doing donuts in the water. They're making a whirlpool. Poor Chandler's just out there. <laughs> the next car on our list can literally fly. And since I'm afraid of heights, I let Carl and Nolan take this one. <laughs> Dude, what is happening? There's no way, this right? This car is not only completely street legal, but it also has wings that can take it literally It's street eight legal? Miles. There's literally a propeller on that car. Stay here and watch it take off. I'm going to go in that plane and follow it. I just don't believe that this is actually going to fly. It's taking off! The wheels aren't on the ground anymore! It's literally a car that's flying! These cars are getting crazier and crazier. I can't even believe my eyes. There is a car a mile <laughs> above my head right now. <laughs> oh that Bro, so that's cool. actually insane. I feel like for $600,000, this is a steal. Imagine you're like late to work. <laughs> you just start, you take off in traffic. <laughs> he just fucking died. Why do people keep dying in this video? As you can imagine, there are a lot of $1 million cars out there. So to make sure I buy yeah, I have a favorite, few myself. we got the 10 coolest $1 million cars. And as per usual, we have the entire racetrack to ourselves. So I let my friends choose whatever car they wanted. I'm going to just ride with you. You pick. Look at this big... Tony Co. Fit in this? All right, I'll try not to text and drive. It's private property. It's technically <laughs> legal here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, jinx it. I feel like I'm in that <laughs> car. I'm having so much fun. This feels like Fast and Furious. There's just something so masculine about driving overpriced, loud cars. On a private racetrack. On a private racetrack. <laughs> Hold on, I got a set of texts. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> and while the game's whizzing around the track, I want to show you the next car. This $2 million limited edition hydrogen car. No joke, this Whoa. car is completely powered by hydrogen and actually exhales drinkable water as exhaust. But the car is still being developed so this is just a prototype i don't think i've ever struggled this much to get in a car Woo. all right let's see how she closes <laughs> why is it awkward <laughs> first impressions door kind of slow we're about to turn on more the rich people need to make content like mr beast dude that's what i'm saying man like rich people instead of buying and ruining social media platforms and doing whatever evil rich people things they do just start a youtube channel and be like yo what the f can we do today we got a few billion to spend like let's do it bro this is a really big deal because this car has never been driven on a road before oh you should have told me before i got in they built this car as a proof of concept so driving it on the road is questionable oh, look, look i don't have a mclaren mclaren gave me uh a mclaren for a week the f1 race but i didn't actually get to keep it they only let me borrow it i also couldn't really drive it that well like i had my back would hurt after sitting in it for a while because I had this awkwardly. It's a very small car. It's, it's like kind of like this car that Mr. Beast is in, and Mr. Beast is uh, about my height, so like it's not it's not easy to sit in it for long periods of time. And while we're driving, I want to tell you about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip Five phone. What? What's special about this phone is it literally folds in half. Boom. Mr. Beast is selling out, man. I never do sponsors. Bro, this boy gets up there. Yeah. Even though this car uses hydrogen instead of gas. Imagine you're just driving around and you see this crazy supercar and it's 
freaking Mr. Beast driving it. Like, I would I would even be surprised. There's a lot of cars around me and everyone. Get away from my $2 million car. <laughs> I'll see you at the next car. Back at the racetrack. We have the most <laughs> it just <exotic> explodes. <laughs> and powerful car yet. Costing $10 million, this Koenigsegg Vader is the only one in existence. Dang. So this is the world's fastest production car. Oh my God. And with literal crushed diamonds in the paint, the insurance companies would only let the owner drive it. That's probably the coolest one I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. <laughs> what? You're crazy. All right, let's do this. Do this. Fun fact, I made a grown man cry. Really? Yeah, I scared the crap out of him. <laughs> I'm gonna why'd, he just, why'd he share that piece of information? Was he gonna say he made a grown man cry like with the car? Like, wh why'd he say that? How is it so bad? I never... One second. The reason this car is one of the fastest on the planet is because of its twin turbocharged V8 engine and the fact that its entire frame is made out of air core carbon fiber, making it weigh 500 pounds less than a Lamborghini. Bro, honestly, man, like, Rich people are just getting so out of touch, man. Am I right, chat? So out of touch, bro. Like, I, I can't stand this shit. I feel like Mr. Beast is finally entering his creative mode where he's just like, what are the limits of what we can do? Let's, like, push those limits. Mr. Beast's ideas now, it's funny. Now it's like if you asked a five-year-old, you're like, Hey, what, what, you know, what's a, what's a great YouTube video idea? And you tell, and the five-year-old's like, I'm going to build the biggest sandcastle in the world. That's a Mr. Beast video. Mr. Beast will do $1 sandcastle versus a hundred million dollar sandcastle. There's probably five-year-olds that are like pitching ideas to Mr. Beast. And that, that's where he's getting his ideas from. My heart is pounding. That's crazy. <laughs> well, that was awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's go hang out with Jay Leno and see what a $20 million car looks like. <laughs> How many times has he All died right. in this video, bro? I think he's actually cloning himself. Jay Leno was the king of The Tonight Show for over 20 years. Today, he's the proud owner of one of the most impressive car collections in the world, including this $20 million McLaren F1. Did, did it just start doing that because of you? It's high tech. <laughs> Robbers, don't try that. And what makes it so valuable? It's a V12 carbon fiber. It's extremely light, and it was 241 miles an hour, which is still the fastest for a non-turbocharged, non-supercharged car. I'll show you something kind of cool. You got three seats, as you can see. Wow. The car is about 2,300 pounds. Your most modern cars are 4,000. It's more comparable to Nolan's mom than another car. That's right, exactly. Yeah. In fact, Nolan's mom was really the one they used as the benchmark. Why are they roasting Nolan's mom? What happened? There's no way getting in that middle seat is actually comfortable. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It does not look bad at all. It's comfortable. <laughs> It's oddly comfortable to have three seats like this. Yeah, it is pretty interesting. I kind of wish these supercars had three seats more often. Because normally this is where the wheel is. Exactly. Or, or if you were in England, this is where this wheel is. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, you can be in England, you can be in America. <laughs> How long have you had this car? What year were you born? 1998. Actually, I got this in 98. I popped out of my mom and he's like, you know what, let's celebrate by buying this that's car. That's right. Now, here's the second part. I'm your dad. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I paid 800000 Wow. And I bought it, and people thought, oh, you'll never get your money back in. But then it just went up and up and up and up, and now they're $20 million. I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if you got your money back, because 800000 in 1998 is basically $20 million in 2023. Like, did it really go up? I mean... It did go up. But. This car basically made you a million dollars a year every year you've owned it. I guess that's fair to say, yeah. Carl, what do you think of the car? I like it. What's stopping you from buying one? Um, $19.9 million. <laughs> Have you ever had a wreck? Oh, yeah. I've had a lot of wrecks. Oh, oh, so wait, 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 wait. What, what, footage, what footage did they just cut to of Jay Leno getting in a car crash how did what did, what did they just cut to what wait what, what what is the context of that <laughs> they killed jay leno over the video <laughs> are so expensive that they are literally locked away in a museum at all times combined they cost 80 million dollars and somehow we convinced the museum to give us the cars looking good and this is where the video gets literally mind-blowing crank this bad boy up Oh, That's wow. the 30 miller. Let's hear the 50 miller. 
50 mil? Why? How could a car even cost that much? I got in the $30 million car with Bo Bachman, the car legend. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. The reason the car that Chandler is in is so expensive is because it was specifically constructed as a gift from the founder of Ferrari to the founder of Ford. This is the only version of this Ferrari ever made in human history. Oh, watch out for this bump. No scrape. Oh, so it's more like a collector. You really notice how like crappy the street is until you drive something that's $50 million. The car we're in is the most expensive Jaguar in existence. It was the legendary actor Steve McQueen's daily driver, and he got so many speeding tickets driving it that his license was actually suspended i'm noticing every single pothole though and because these cars are so expensive we have an entire police escort dedicated to making sure nobody comes close to the car <laughs> this is insane hey get some speed uh, how's it drive beautifully Woo! oh my hat <laughs> oh. <laughs> and while we were all having fun bo bachman pushed the 30 million dollar car to its absolute limit Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on, the car stopped. Hold on one second. We hit it too too hard. <laughs> the $30 million car stalled. We're gonna hop out of these things before we break them. Let's go drive the $100 million world's first Ferrari. This better not be the $100 million car, Mr. Beast. I, I know you don't got Batman money. I would imagine a $100 million car would look something like this. But you'd be surprised to find out that this is the $100 million car. This car is so historic and valuable that this museum representative is the only person on earth allowed to drive it. It's only allowed to be driven on this bridge. We had cops completely close the roads and we even had street cleaners fill in every pothole and clean the entire street to ensure that nothing damages this $100 million. I love how careful he was when he closed the door. <laughs> Cause if you're not, you know, I feel like sometimes I shut the door a little too hard, you know, and I'm just like, damn, hopefully I didn't break anything. You know? This is gonna be crazy. All right. Hundred million dollars barreling down the street. Um, I keep losing my hat. He lost his hat. <laughs> That's the second time. Most expensive car comes with a free hat. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! Awesome. What just happened there? Yeah, one thing more fun than this. <laughs> Does bro not speak? All right. <laughs> Bro's probably so nervous driving a hundred million dollar car. Floor it! Let's go! Oh my gosh, this is awesome! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's drop a nuke on the bridge! What? What? You are not allowed. He's turning to a villain. He's blowing up cars. He's dropping nukes. He's cloning himself. He killed Jay Leno. He can't keep getting away with this.